Got another Maytag French door ice maker problem on this one. Uh, customer said ice gets jammed up. Uh, so we're going to get this ice bin out. We're going to investigate and see what's going on. And I can see some ice in there already. Um, it's stuck right there on the ice maker. The ice slide on this ice maker is broken. So we got to replace the ice maker. To get this panel off, uh, you got to get a small screwdriver or something like this pick here. Uh, there's something on the inside that you need to push down. Well, yeah, just like that. You want to push that down. So once you get it pushed down, you pull it towards you. Um, yeah, and once you get that off, I mean, it's, it's easy peasy from here. You get that electrical connection taken apart. And then once you get that done, there's a clip that holds it on the left hand side and you'll see me pry it up with that pick like I was showing you with the panel there but uh, you pry that up and you just start pulling the whole thing comes out as a whole assembly uh, ice maker auger motor everything um, there will be a little bit of resistance because that field tube that comes down um, it doesn't allow it to come out freely so you do kind of got to force it across there but once you free it up I mean she just comes right out and then once you get it out we see that there's a bunch of ice in there but that's probably because there's ice blocking that hole and when that ice is blocking the hole it fills up that funnel and it freezes uh, but anyways this is the new ice maker right here and I'll have it linked in the description down below so if you guys need it, go ahead and pick it up. Or if you guys just don't want to pay for it, I understand that too. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to swap this thing out. It is a little bit different. There's uh, more things to it than just swapping out just a regular ice maker. comes with a funnel. Um, a new thing where the ice maker sits on top of and all that. But uh, yeah, you guys will see it here. Um, not much to it. But you can get everything out ready for you. Um, comes with a new bail arm, switches. I mean, a whole bunch of different stuff. A uh, little bit more things to do here. But right here is the ice maker. And disconnect this wire harness right here. Once you get that harness done, uh, you can pretty much get that ice maker out of the way. Um, yeah, we're going to tip this thing upside down here in a second and get some three screws out right here. boom three screws are out so this ice maker just comes right off uh, so we can just set that sucker off to the side uh, we got this this new thing we do have to install so you take that old one off you grab the new one and they're just slightly different it's just because this new ice maker um, has just slightly different dimensions on it um, but yeah set that old one off to the side and we're gonna put this new one in Yeah, and it's done just like that. All right, uh, before you guys actually put that ice maker in, I forgot to put this funnel extension in. Uh, so make sure you guys put that funnel extension that comes with it before you actually put that ice maker back on. Um, but whenever you put this thing on, you do want to hook this harness up first. So we're going to do that real quick. All right, yeah, and this is the part where I forgot to put in that funnel. This is the funnel I am talking about. I got this ice maker all the way in, um, and whenever it filled, water went everywhere. So you want to make sure that funnel is installed, or else you'll have a mountain of ice inside there. Anyways, get that funnel in, and then we're going to get this ice maker on. 
Um, I'm gonna let you guys just watch most of this. Uh, if I have something, I'll, I'll bring it up to you. But, uh, yeah. Another thing you do not want to forget is this bail arm. This is what stops the ice maker from over making ice. Um, you want to start in from one end like this and get it all the way around and snap it into place. If you don't install this, you will have a mountain of ice inside there. Um, the old ice maker doesn't have a bail arm like this, so this is something you can probably easily overlook. Uh, the bail arm is on the ice maker itself I mean it's just installed already on it so just don't forget to put this thing on and if you have any trouble I mean you can rewind this and um, see how I'm doing it but you'll know if it's on there backwards because it just won't fit right um, yeah All right, yeah, we got that switch on in there. You can only put it in one way or else this harness will um, be blocked by that little tab sticking up there. And it doesn't really matter which leads those wires go on, so just pick one and it'll work. Uh, but you just route those wires around that little motor there. You don't want it getting stuck on there. Um, but we're gonna get this cover on, then we're gonna install this sucker. Um, and then you'll see when I put this thing in there that funnels not installed So just make sure that that funnel is installed or else you're gonna have to do this all over again uh, so Make sure that funnels installed anyways we're, <laughs> we're putting this ice maker in remember you're gonna have some resistance on that uh, Fill tube that's dropped down, but uh, yeah, you push her all the way back in and you'll hear a click and then you'll know she's in also, the ice bin won't fit in properly either if it's not back there all the way, so you'll know. Um, but on this thing, you just hit the on button, and she should start turning for you. Um, with these new ice makers, they come set ready to go, pretty much ready to fill. So, oh yeah, 
on this one you do have to hold the door switch for it to run so hold that door switch and that ice maker should run a few seconds and then it should start filling um, you'll hear it so you'll know if it's working but uh, yeah that's pretty much it once you've tested it it's filled up with water put that panel back on and then put the ice bucket back in and that is it ice maker is fixed really expensive ice maker for a little broken plastic piece uh, but anyways if this has helped you out give me a like subscribe and thanks for watching